Okay, so I've gone ahead and done the same here, just um, modelled the antennas uh, stretching inwards and duplicate it over. So what I'm going to do is select the left first, select the right, shift select the um, main mesh and instead of going create deformers, because we've already created a blend shape with these arm, arm stretches below, we want to go to edit deformers blend shape and add. I'm just going to go to the options and I'll reset, make sure it's default and we want to specify which blend shape we want to add it to and we can either type the name in or select from a list of blend shapes that are already in the scene and we can see here blend shape main body so I'll just select that and hit apply and close and now if I select the mesh you can see we have these two um, stretchy eyes in there now Okay, so with these eyes, what we can actually do is um, instead of having a distance dimension tool for these eyes, I would quite like these to squash and stretch as we get the sine wave in there as well. And if you think with the sine wave, so if I just um, increase the sine here, you can see that we are not actually increasing the distance between these two controls the bottom and the top or the, the bottom and the top so the blend shape through a set driven key wouldn't get activated because the distance isn't increasing although the actual length of this ribbon spine is increasing so if we want to do that what we'll need to do so I'll reset this sine wave, I'll switch the sine wave off and I'll just hide the mesh I'll just go show none and show joints and what I'm going to actually do here is create a curve down the center of these ribbon spines get the curve skinned to the ribbon joints and then as the joints move with the sine wave it's actually going to stretch that curve as well and then we can take the length of the curve instead and use that to drive the squash and stretch blend shape okay so I'm going to go curves double click the curve tool and just on linear I'm going to vert snap um, from the top and I'll just go show nerves curves so we can see that getting created and I'll hide the control curves in here so what I'm actually going to do is vert snap with linear and I'm going to vert snap point to every single one of these joints so holding down V is just going to snap it to those joints ok hit Y, do the same on the other side just vert snap it all the way down here So now what we can do is just um, drag a marquee selection over everything. And if it's not letting us do that, oh, we've got joints on the selection mask, so switch joints on so we can select them. I'm just going to select everything, and I'll unselect these main driver joints because we don't want them to affect it. And then I'm going to shift select the curve. So I've got all the ribbon joints of that antenna and then the curve and I'm going to go skin, bind skin, smooth bind, option box and I'm just reset the settings. Let's go selected joints, max influence, I'll probably set this I'll set to two, two or three. And we could set it to one because we've vert snapped one C V to each joint. And then with this I'll just hit apply. I'll actually remove maintain max influence off again. Hit apply. Do the same on the opposite side and select these joints, select the curve hit apply so what this means if I just show the nubs curves what this means now is as we use the sign you can see 
that curve is now skinned to the ribbon joints so the curve is deforming with the ribbon spine and because we've vert snapped one CV to each one it's just going to pretty much be a one to one skinning each joint is going to control one CV now if you look at the bottom left here we've got the mail script which says arc length so I'm going to include the mail script in, you know, inside the documentation, so it's going to be in the link below. But it's arc length, so A R C L E N space dash C H, which means construction history, and then space uh, true. And what this is going to do is, if we run this, it's going to switch on the construction history for this curve. And if I just go to the graph. I'm just going to grow graph, clay graph. So with the curve selected, I'll run this, and you can see what it's done is it's created a curve info node. So it allows us to access the construction history of this curve. And by doing that, it creates this curve info node. And if you actually look in here, we have a attribute called arc length, and this is going to be the actual physical length of this curve. So unlike the distance dimension tool, which is just the length between two points in space, you know, between those two locators, this curve is going to give us the actual physical length of this ribbon, and we can get that to drive the um, stretchy bond shape. So that means if we have this sign, it's also going to, you know, become really thin as well. So I'll do the same, and I'll actually rename this so. Um, CI for curve info underscore left underscore antenna. I'll put um, antenna stretch curve. I'll paste the name over here, and it's not going to be a control curve. So I'm just going to rename this curve. So we use the CC for control curve. For curves that we're not really fussed about, I'm just going to rename it curve, left antenna, stretch curve 01. I'm going to copy the name again. I'm going to take off joint joints on the selection mask so I can select that curve easy. Paste the name in for the right. I'm going to copy this curve info name and remember with this curve selected I'm going to do the same again and if we ever type in a mail script we can always press up so in the bottom left down here where the command line I can just type, uh, I can just press up and it's going to access the previous so the last used uh, mail script mail command so with that I'm just going to press enter again it's going to create another curve info node for this curve and with that selected, I'll paste the name in. So CI curve info. This is going to be the right. So make sure I get that right. It's going to be the right the uh, right antenna. So it's just easy to identify. So we can see here that selecting this left curve info node, we can see it's 24. Selecting the right one, you can see it's 9. So it's we can tell that there's a difference between length of these. So with these in the graph, I'm just going to leave them here for the moment. Bring back the nubs curves. Okay, so I'm going to reset the sine weight to off. So these are the defaults now. And we can start doing the same with the set driven key. So I'm going to go to uh, Animate, set driven key, set to show the mesh, show polygons. Gonna get the blend shape, load driven. And again, don't worry if you're getting this error if it's not recognizing the name, it just means it's gonna have problems selecting things through the set driven key window. This shouldn't happen by normal, but if it does, don't worry you can still just select the mesh and edit it in here. So with this selected I've got the set drum key, load the blend shape as a driven, 
and I'm going to load the right arc length as the driver. So here you can see arc length. We can use this to drive the blend shape. So arc length. In the default pose, I'm going to hit key, and then I'm going to stretch this. And because these um, arms and antennas are about the same size, um, I stretch this out to a value of 30 on the arm. So I'm going to stretch this to about a value of 30 as well. So the stretchiness is happening the same amount. So by moving the value up, we have changed the arc length. So now I can just go to the mesh, select the blend shape, set it to 1, and I, I'm just going to hit key. And you can see it's also stretched the right hand side, and again, that's because we haven't painted the blend shape weights yet. So we can just ignore that for the moment, it's OK. So now you can see as I move this up and down, it's getting really thin but the main advantage of this doing it through the curve is if I do the sign see as I do the sign it is also so you can see it on the other side it is also increasing that stretch so this means as we do the sign it's also going to get really thin so it's retaining its volume again Okay, the, the same on this side. So we've got the blend shape selected. I'm going to select the right antenna. So the right um, curve info node. And we're going to reload that as the load the driver. And select the arc length, and that's going to be the right antenna. So the right curve info is driving the right antenna. It's in the default pose, so I'll just hit key. And do the same. Move this up to 30, which is going to increase the arc length. So with the arc length length increased, I'm going to set this to 1 and hit key. And I'll close that. Close this. So now we can see that these are squashing and stretching. Set these back to zero. So you can see they're working. Getting nice and thin. Okay, so one last thing we need to do again is select this mesh, show isolate view selected, and bring up the edit deformers blend shape or paint blend shape weight tool. And again on the left antenna, I'm gonna remove it from the right. So I'm just using the brush without any fall off and we don't want to remove it from this side so I'm going to paint it back in to make sure it does affect the left and in the middle I don't think there was any sculpting any edits around these verts here but just in case there was so like this middle if this was stretching a little bit and this is a case where I am going to start smoothing the blend shape weights because they are quite close to each other towards the bottom Again, select the other side, and so this is the right, so I'll remove it from the left. Make sure it's all removed. And if we've removed it too much on the other side, start adding that back in there. So I think there's a bit up here that we removed. And down here. Let's remove it a little bit more and then smooth that middle bit. Okay, so now if we just hide blend shapes and remember that these are blend shapes, so I want to take these instead of the models, I want to put them in the blend shapes group, hide them. Extra nodes to hide, I'm going to hide them as well. 
last but not least these curves over here I want to change these the names so we actually I think we renamed the shapes by accident so we'll paste the names in here I'll put these in the extra to hide ok so that's just how we can get the blend shapes to get driven by the squash and stretch of those arms squash and stretch of the rig sorry